let's get this started, shall we? What is up, everybody? My name is Happy, and today we're going to be reacting to some Dexcore, and the song is going to be Brainwashing. I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you do, make sure you hit the like button, you hit that subscribe button, you hit that bell, and select all. Let's get all of you up to even more, you know, of a percentage, because we we have like 15% of you who hit the bell and are subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy these reactions, subscribe. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. Am I truly ready? I don't know. Ooh, that scared me. Hold up. Thou, this is a whole new vibe, dude. What? Let me go. I wasn't ready for any of that. Hold up. Hear that vibe? This is not what I was expecting. It's good. Oh my god! You know what I notice about cussing? You can hear it in screaming when just specifically the F-bomb. You can hear it in screaming. You can hear it in any language so clearly it doesn't even matter. Like if you say it to an English person, not not even like meaning to say it, but if you say it in an English song, it comes out so clear no matter what. My mom, who doesn't understand any screaming, who's probably watching the video right now, shout out to you, mom. Hi. Um, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's called Creating with Love Crafting. But yeah, she she won't even understand the rest of what what he's saying and all of a sudden did he just swear all i hear is the f-bomb in this song and that's it i don't know the lyrics example Oh my god. Are 
I need to understand what he's saying here. I hear famous in the lyrics or something with the need to be famous. I'm not sure what he's saying, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this song is is speaking out to the fact that everybody in the world wants to be famous and that everybody on social media is trying to get famous by any means. And personally, for me, I don't really think that, that that's a thing that I want to do. I want to make YouTube a career, but I don't necessarily want to be famous. Like, it would be nice to be recognized, right? But I don't want to be like the Paul brothers where, like, you're recognized everywhere. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's just keep going. I'm loving the piano right here. Dang! Wow, you guys weren't kidding when you said that this was, like, the song to listen to. Jelly Records. Yeah, y'all weren't kidding when you said that this was the band to, or this was the song to react to, like, literally. Well, this is the end of the reaction, guys. One thing I do want to say about the song is that I loved <clears throat> all of the breakdowns and the very last breakdown was super heavy. I was not expecting him to go that low with his voice. Although I think they did take his voice and they may have pitched it down. The, the production, the producer, whoever um, mixed the thing, the, the whole song, they might have pitched his voice down. But nonetheless, it was a good song. They do that a lot with, um, what is, it? What is the band called that I, that's from Rush? I forget. Because I listen, I listen to them all the time, but now I'm having a brain fart. They just did a song called Baba Yaga. And my video got, I think, a thousand views in it. 
Slaughter to Prevail. Yeah, they Slaughter to Prevail does that with uh, with the main vocalist. Vocals. Why am I yawning? Um, but I really, really enjoyed that. That was actually really good. Dexcore is amazing, dude. Uh, and I just want to say, guys, thank you for coming in here. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell, and select all. Make sure you come in for more, because we're going to be doing a lot more when this band comes out with more stuff. And, uh, yeah, for me, I don't know what else to say, man, but amazing band. I enjoy them a lot, and I hope, I hope to hear a lot more of them. Because they're, I just enjoy them. I don't know what else to say other than that. But thank you guys. I'll catch you all later.